Utilities Chairman Simon Sanchez says the call of U.S. EPA to upgrade the Northern Wastewater Treatment Plant in Derido and its Agania Sewage Treatment Plant to secondary treatment was an issue he knew would eventually come to the forefront. We just weren't sure when U.S. EPA was going to announce the, their desire for us to move to secondary treatment. Since the 1970s, GWA has been granted waivers to the secondary treatment until September 2009 when the U.S. EPA denied renewal of such waivers and instead mandated they comply with secondary treatment requirements. According to a media release, the feds issued a notice of proposed action requiring GWA to upgrade the northern and Agania sewage plants to full secondary treatment. GWA has argued that such a mandate would cost upwards of $300 million. If US EPA insists on us doing secondary treatment where we only have limited funds committed to the court order, and yet they still want us to do secondary treatment, they run the risk of putting us in violation of a court order, and that would also put them in violation of the court order. Sanchez says in Honolulu they're in a similar situation where they are too under a court order and have to upgrade to secondary treatment. He says just as Hawaii was able to negotiate 15 to 25 years to comply, he hopes U.S. EPA will grant them the same timeline. They will be open to the same kind of discussion. We would expect them to, be, to treat us as no different than they've treated other communities, that they've given 15 years, 25 years to come into compliance because they recognize that affordability is an issue for communities. Millions of gallons are discharged from both plants daily and the feds maintain it no longer qualifies for primary treatment because the treated wastewater exceeds Guam's ocean water quality standards for bacteria. Secondary treatment is the standard under the Clean Water Act. Sanchez hopes some common ground is met in trying to comply and protect our oceans and environment, all the while creating a plan that's implementable and affordable. It's not that we don't want to go to secondary treatment, but we have to be able to do it in a timeline that keeps water and wastewater services affordable to the community. You cannot price water out of the reach of people. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintanese.